Okay, with here uh, with our 1963 Alcourt Sunfish chip sand and some of the remnants of uh, paint that were left on the deck. Been using a 40 grit paper, and uh, it doesn't it doesn't last too long. It gets uh, gummed up pretty quick with the uh, paint and primer that's been uh, on the boat, and that's okay. Probably sand for about a minute and switch to a fresh pad. Send a little more. Switch switch out, sand some more. We're using um, DeWalt Random Orbital Sander with this uh, little shop back attached up to it to uh, contain, control most of the uh, dust that's coming off of it. The HEPA filter. Got the 40 grit gator paper, bought at Lowe's. It's not the highest, not the top of the line paper, but it's uh, affordable and it's got a pretty aggressive grit on it some folks are asking wow 40 grit really it's like well with light pressure it's not uh with and with this mahogany plywood a hardwood it's not it's not really making you know too much of an impact on it you don't really see any swirl marks down in the grain where we've sanded now if you were to take a fresh piece and go cross grain you could see some marks, but with this random orbital sander, it just distributes the marks all around. And we do go uh, with the grain when we're sanding. So we'll show you, just to give you an example, here's remnants of uh, primer and paint from the uh, original boat. We're gonna turn on the uh, shop vac and the sander, so it's gonna get loud. So either mute your speaker or turn it down or, or enjoy the noise, either way, here we go. Okay, volume back up. That's the universal signal that I just made up for turning your volume back up. A few of these things we noticed on the boat or you find on other boats. It's see remnants of a little half moon arc going across here. That's where they've let the bolt on the tiller drag on the deck and cut a groove in it. So try to not let that happen on your boats. It's, it's uh, just something you can wrap a little piece of tape on it or adjust the tiller the right way and have it um, not do that. Also up on the deck we had, it wasn't too bad up here, but a little little half moon going this way where the bottom of the interlocking bolt on the spars cuts grooves. And here's something we'll have to make a template of. This is where the, uh, I think this is where the splash guard goes. It's a wooden splash guard, V-shaped on this boat. And it looks like uh, remnants of a screw down here and uh, where the uh, little bronze piece, the little fastener piece that goes in the middle up there. So we're going to take a look at that. looks like it goes down the other side too. So it uh, looks like we went through uh, 30 or 40 pieces of sandpaper, but I've uh, got it sanded down, got the uh, cockpit sand it down with a little the little rest for the uh, the uh, floorboards that go in the cockpit and we did these earlier but we did repairs on where the uh, 
horizontal hinge plate screw holes and this um, on these bolts the carriage bolt for the rudder assembly actually goes through the deck and through the transom so once we get it painted we'll take a drill just uh, one bit size up from quarter inch and drill that and clean all that out and then make the adjustments for the new the new rudder fittings so I hope y'all are having a great day we know chip is